All right, real quick, everybody. Step one, go to Google, Daisy Offline Mode. Arkansas Daisy Community Offline Mode. Go to code. Go to download zip. Once you've downloaded the zip, drag and drop it to your desktop. Go into where your Steam is installed. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy. And in here, you're going to see a missions folder. If you don't have one, create one. Inside the missions folder, you're going to open up, go back to your desktop, open up the zip file, go to missions, and then drag, and drop that in there. Inside this folder, you will find your batch file that launches Daisy Community Offline Mode. Right click, edit with Notepad. Where the blue is, you're going to see in this file. Where the gray is is what you're going to add. I'll put this in Discord. Builder items, builder statics is the only two mods you need. Okay, that's step two. Step three: go to Steam, go to your Workshop, Daisy, search up builder statics, builder items, install both of them, subscribe both of them to both of them rather. Now we're going to go back. You may not see them in your exclamation point workshop folder. I've got them right here. You're probably not going to see them. If you don't see them, you're going to go back out a couple of steps. You're going to go to workshop, content, and you'll find them in here. And how you find them in here is really easy. The URL address of the mod is up here. You will see this number. Use that number to search for that folder. Same thing with builder items in the URL. 1491. You come over here. 1491 is right here. This is builder items. Okay. You're going to copy and paste these folders, stat builder statics and builder items, into your workshop folder. And you're going to rename them to at builder items and at builder statics. Straightforward. What that's going to allow uh, the system to do is uh, recognize uh, the batch command to open up builder items and builder statics. Really that easy. All right. So now that you've done that, you've officially basically installed offline mode. You're going to go into your offline mode and you're going to launch it. Just double click it, and it'll launch it, and let it load. All right, so this is offline mode. It's really straightforward, really easy. Basically creative mode, you hit Y, you've got your object spawner, and you've got your uh, object info. Both very important. I'll show you how to use both of them. Put yourself in God mode, and then we're gonna go to the Northwest Airfield, so I'm just gonna go to free cam, which you do that by hitting insert. And I don't know where the fuck we are. We're just going to go inland, figure out where we are. A lot of times I can just by looking at the land. Northwest airfield is right here. here it is. All right. So we're at Northwest airfield. This, you may know this is what I've placed already. And we'll go in here, object spawner, object info. To place an item, it's really easy. Just pick an item. And we'll pick something small like a shipping container. Hit cursor. It's going to spawn it at your cursor. 
click on it with your mouse. You can drag it around. You got your yaw. You got your pitch. You got your roll. You got your X. You got your Y. And you got your Z. I'm using the mouse wheel to adjust all those, by the way. And to the right, you have the list of all the items you've placed in the map. Do yourself a favor and stay away from the clear button. Because that will delete them all and then you'll be pretty much fucked. Or if you delete them, don't hit save and don't hit export. And just restart offline mode and it will bring them all back. Now, uh, if you want to save and export the stuff that you've placed, all you do is hit save and export. It's really easy. We're going to get rid of this container and we'll save and export again. And you're going to go out to Notepad or Notepad++. And you're going to open up a new one, right click, paste. Look at that. Boom. All the spawned objects. Right. Don't worry about this top section. That's not important. What's important is everything right here is copy, copied and pasted in the proper area. This section up here is just the categorized title of what these, what this code is or what the buildings are. The two slashes before it deactivates the line of text from being read as code. So that's also very important. Don't leave a name or a label up here without two slashes before it. Adding this into the init file is really easy. So if you have access to the server, to get the init file, you're going to go to, this is the home uh, file manager, MP missions, expansion turners plus, init.c, right click download. Always download a fresh version of this if you're going to be editing it because you don't know if me or Jay or whoever has made any edits to it. Um, so always download a fresh version of this before you upload anything. So you download this and it's going to look a little bit something uh, like this file here. Right, we're going to have the ATMs. Right, we got Northwest Black Market slash Airfield. Right, and then let's say you did Northeast Airfield. You're going to type in slash slash NEF and then you'll copy and paste. Uh, you'll copy and paste the stuff. Oh, you don't even have to copy the title if you don't want to, because I just put a title in there. But copy and paste all this. Copy. And then you just go below this. Paste. Done. Look at that. See that? Really easy. All right. And then you just save. We're going to delete all this, because this is not Northeast Airfield. It's just an example. Um, so you're going to save that and then you're going to go back to your server file and you're going to go upload you're going to select your init.c file that you downloaded it'll overwrite this file as long as it has the same name it needs to have the same name for that to work it can't have a different name and then you go back to your server manager and you restart the server and it's as easy as that your new building should be in there. If they're not, you did something wrong. If you're using Daisy Offline Expansion, it's not going to work. Uh, you may be able to go into uh, the batch file and change uh, the loadout, the mods. I don't know if it's possible without it crashing. But you might be able to just delete whatever mods in here are causing problems. But these are the only mods that you should load. No expansion, no nothing. That's it. This is how you do it. It's really straightforward, really easy. Any questions, just let me know.